Hello and welcome to It's a Life. Today on the show we'll be talking with three Herzen College students in different phases of their careers. A student, a graduate, and a videographer for the Manitoba Moose. We'll learn how broadcasting is changing and changed their lives with the help of Herzen College's broadcasting program. Andrew Marsh is a brilliant 19-year-old who is just finishing his broadcasting and media communications program at Herzen College. His passion for images has established him as a leading stills photographer and now as a rising videographer sensation. Welcome to the show, Andrew. Hey. Hey. So why the switch? From, From stills to video. Honestly, I wasn't sure I was ever going to college. Uh, life events kind of just led me, led me to college and when I started doing video work here, which I wasn't sure was ever going to be a thing for me, it, I just fell in love with it and I continued with it. Oh, cool. So, so Herzing has kind of give you some inroads. And so how do you feel like Herzing is helping you establish those goals? I've learned a lot. Um, I've already known a lot about cameras because of the amount of work I've done outside of college. But in terms of all videography, that's, that's a whole new, new ball game for me. Mm -hmm. And Austin has taught me so much. Austin, our instructor, has taught me so much. And Bev has taught me so much. And I just, I really feel like I can thrive with, with what I've learned. Well, I got a chance to see the music video that you produced and shot, and I mean, tell you, it was outstanding. Um, can you tell me a little how you were able to create that video? Uh, sure. Uh, in any particular aspect? Well, I mean, there's a one scene there where there, there's two people, the same person, sitting next to each other on, on, on the steps. Okay. Um, for that scene, I just gathered a few of my friends together. Uh, the video itself, the song is... It's, I guess, kind of depressing, and I took the aspect of grief, mm. and in that particular scene, I wanted to represent the memories of a person. So I had one friend who was the grieving person, and I had my other friend who was the, the memory or the, the ghost um, off to the other side, and I just layered the two videos together in my video editing and just literally lowered the opacity on the one and kept the other one kept the other one full and it just gave that ghostly effect. Well you, you certainly achieved that. Now now there's a special story in that message. You, can you tell me about that? Or? Yeah. Um, oh wow. So last year my brother passed away and the song Autumn Leaves um, is a huge reminder like of him for me and so I, I took that song and I threw myself into it and my experiences with grief and everything that you see in that music video is exactly what I went through and I, uh, I just grabbed my friends and I, uh, I threw them into it. Well good for you because I, I know what it's like losing a brother. I've lost a brother a few years ago and um and that was one of the things that really compelled me in your video. And you did you did an outstanding job. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew, for not only sharing a part of your life with us, but you know, sharing some of your achievements and and your goals. I, it was a real pleasure to have you on this on the show today, and I look forward to seeing more and more from you. Thank you, Joseph. Bye. Our next guest is a recent graduate of the broadcasting and media communications program. You might know him from his popular YouTube channel, Myrtle She Wrote. Myrtle Kabunko is best known for his quirky skits and his outstanding special effects. Welcome to the show, Myrtle. Thank you for having me. No problem. Uh, it's nice that you can be here. As a recent graduate, can you tell me how your time at Herzing College has moved your career forward? Uh, yeah, it really helped me out because, like, I, I already had a sort of creative mindset for, like, doing the set thought of what I wanted to do like with video so help coming here it, like helped me learning how to do script writing and it just made my like mind more creative and everything more planned out than everything being all over the place and every time like I used to make videos I would just wing it you know like, I was like oh maybe I'll just do this scene I'll just do this but then when I came here I had everything planned out with my writing, with the script, so I knew what to say. I had everything planned out. I had storyboards made, so every shot was already planned, and, and it just made everything like 
way more easier. Like okay. everything planned out. Yeah. No, I've seen episodes on Myrtle Shiro. I mean, let me tell you, they're fantastic. Thank you. Um, where do your ideas come from? Just straight observation. Like, like even like um, when I'm just out and about, I'll I'll see someone like talking by vending machine or something. I'm like, I can make a skit out of that. Like something funny. <laughs> I, I can make a scenario out of that where it's like, like, even a conversation would just be like something where it's like you take something from the normal. And then something outrageous just happens, you know, it's like, but it, it, it's sort of like borderline where it would happen kind of thing. So that's <laughs> yeah, why I I, that, I'm yeah. like, yeah, I think that'd be a funny thing, you know. No, I've, I've um, your special effects are outstanding. I mean, I've Thank seen you. that one where the scene where you're actually coming out of a mirror. Um, how did you do that? Um, I actually, so when I'm not in school or anything, I spend all my time on YouTube and I just look at, a bunch of tutorials and when I see something I like I would try shooting something and then I would test it over and over and I would keep trying it over and over until I somehow not perfected it but I got a rough idea of how to do it and then at first when I did it, I was like oh yeah that looks really good and then later on I'm like really harsh on myself I'm like oh no I gotta do it again I gotta do it again you know <laughs> But uh, yeah, that special effect, it, that, that, that's actually a lot of work. It's like every frame by frame you have to keep adjusting it so until it looks clean. Because if not, it's, it doesn't look as good as it does. Like, yeah. well, well, let me tell you, I mean, it was outstanding and yeah. it really, really caught my eye. So I, I know right now COVID-19 has kind of put a halt on everything. And, um, and so, you know, it's kind of hard to judge where we're going from here. But for you, what, what's next for you? Um, yeah, probably put a pause on like my destination where I want to go, but where I want to go after Herzing is like I want to continue in video editing or even script writing. I don't mind doing the script writing work, but video editing is like my passion. Like I'm, I'm not really into like I, I like shooting stuff as well, but I'm more into the video editing. Like. If someone gave me their vision of how they wanted something edited, I could probably like get it down to what they want in every detail, because of just how much time I invested on myself on mm -hmm. trying to learn how to edit and stuff. It just yeah, like I'm a nerd for this. Like I, I love it. I love. <laughs> well, it. you're very very good at it, and uh, I want to thank you so much for coming down and, and sharing your experience yeah, no with problem. us. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of Murto and, and Murto she wrote in the future. For sure. Yeah, good luck to you in the future. <laughs> thank you, you too. Yeah, for sure. You may have seen our next guest bringing highlights and news from our Manitoba Moose. Austin Saragusa is the hockey club's videographer and Hersen College alumni. Graduating in 2016 from the then radio and television broadcasting program, his past took him through CJOB Radio, Global News, and now with the Manitoba Moose. Welcome to the show, Austin. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks for having me. That was a very impressive resume. How did it all unfold for you after graduation? Yeah, well, my, I guess my start actually started before I even graduated. Just a couple of months into the program, I was fortunate enough to get a job at CJOB on the street team in promotions. So, um, you know, our instructor Bev always told us to get our foot in the door no matter where we yeah. can. So uh, that's what I wanted to do, just start wherever I could. And from there, uh, I was fortunate enough to get a job uh, as an anchor and a producer. And then... From there, just went on to Global News and now the Manitoba Moose. So uh, it's a dream job, and I'm very fortunate to have my start at CJOB. Yeah, now with the Manitoba Moose, how did, how did Hershey College play a role in the work that you do now? Whether it be, um, you know, just learning how to operate cameras or learning the different types of microphones or how to even present on air, you know, those were all really important things that I was taught in the school. So um, those helped me a lot in my career as well. So you come back to teach at the college from time to time. What yeah. is the most impressive thing that you're seeing from the, the new and up-and-comers in video production? Well, it's actually quite interesting. Just, I mean, it was only four or five years ago that I was in class, but just the technology's even changed so much from when I was in class then to now. So just to work with the new technology and sort of try and teach the kids sort of what I learned when I was back in school is pretty special. And uh, like I said, Herzing is a big part of my career. and to be able to come back and help people uh, learn as well is pretty awesome, important to awesome. me. I guess lastly, um, what message would you like to leave students um, 
either in the program now or I'm even thinking about a career in video production? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a dream job, really. Uh, for me, it's, you know, I was never going to be an athlete, so <laughs> covering sports is the next best thing for me. But, uh, you know, Herzen College just gave me the opportunity and the tools that I really needed to uh, learn how to succeed in this business. So I'm very fortunate for, uh, you know, Bev, you know, Ken back then uh, teaching me the things I learned now, and uh, hopefully I can help teach uh, some people as well. Well, thanks a lot, Austin. You've certainly been an asset around here. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, thank you at home uh, for joining us. That's all the time we have this week. Join us again on It's a Life. You never know who will be sharing theirs with us. Till next time.